Salutations from the stars. I am Professor Copperstein. Here we finally with try not to cringe. So uh, I suppose I can laugh this time, but uh, I can't cringe. Okay. Please do not incite violence against individual or group students who may get you banned from the entire website. Well, don't worry. I am not a violent person. At least I don't think, like to think I am. But, oh well. Sorry. So, how was that face? <laughs> Sorry about that. My face may not be the best looking. Well, anyway, I just got finished uploading the, the other one, the Try Not to Laugh number five. So, I've been, been talking, talking about, about this for some while as I finally do it. So, let's stop arguing. Talking. Words always jumble around in my head. Now I don't know what I'm saying. And I think I'm close to the mic. Uh, oh, that sounds better. Okay. Here we go. Luckily, I prepared for this. I have YouTube. Try not to cry. Oh, gosh. Try not to cringe challenge. Okay. Try not to cringe challenge. And try it. It was for a... See, this one was, a, was released almost a week ago. Try not to cringe 2018. Yes, start! Hey, everyone. So, I was chatting on AM, AIM with this guy, supposedly he was from England, and I speak fluent American, so there's a bit of a language barrier, but he knew really good English. Ow, stop beating my phone. So, um, I was talking to him about, like, this gamer. I speak fluent American. What the hell is that supposed to mean? So I was chatting on AM, AIM with this guy, supposedly he was from England, and I speak fluent American. So there's a bit of a language barrier, but he knew really good English. <laughs> people from England and people from America speak the same fucking language! <laughs> what the- <laughs> I know, listen, America has lasted for 200 years. You'd think we would have known that England and e came from e English came from England, and the, uh, the settlers came from there and came here, a lot, as well as other immigrants. That's why, that's why Americans tend to be very diverse. But, so, of course, of course we speak the same language. There's no language barrier! Ow, stop beating my phone. So, um, yeah. I was talking. That creature down there bit your toe because you realized you sound how stupid you sounded. About, like, this game I wanted because I was hoping he'd buy it for me. And he, it was his Sims 3 Generations, and I really wanted that expansion pack for my Sims game. And he said supposedly he wanted it too. And, um, I'm like, well, why don't you get it? And he was like, because it's too much. I'm like, well, how much is it? He's like, it's 15 pounds. So, apparently, there's a bit of a language barrier there. That's not a language barrier. That's a difference in currency. In America, they use dollars. Pounds in the England. Because I asked him how much it costs, not how much it weighs. So, a bit of a language barrier. This is a, <laughs> this is a <laughs> try not to cringe challenge. I already lost. <laughs> oh my 
away. <laughs> Stop watching this because I'm already losing. <laughs> okay, so I did make an error. I thought she would I thought that she mistaken the language barrier with that of not knowing the currencies. Apparently she doesn't know different currencies exist, apparently. She didn't know that pounds are the, are the unit of currency used in England. That we went over that jump. But the thing I'm wondering is, why does it weigh so much? That's what's confusing to me. Like, does it have to do with where England is located? Like, is it because it's like... I don't even know. Is, is it because it's from a different place that it weighs more here? Does the gravity work stronger somewhere else? <laughs> At this point, you sound dumber than a flat earther. Because, like, maybe it's, like, really close to Jupiter? Oh. So <laughs> About. Okay. okay. You know what? I. I. This has to be a joke. Nobody on any alternate reality is that stupid. Jupiter. Hold on. Let me look up the distance between Earth and Jupiter. Because. That, that kind of gravity doesn't, doesn't work, work that, that way. way. It's, it's too far. <coughs> kilometers, 536.83 million miles. 5.77 AU. <sighs> Girl. At this point, I kind of have to feel like she might be acting. Because... <coughs> this can't be real. This, this really can't be. So, like, if you know the solar system... America is like in the middle, and um, England is like um, it's the f it's the closest to the sun, I think. Uh, <coughs> America is not in the middle. The Earth again. The Earth is not flat. There is there is no center on the surface. The center is underneath the surface of the planet, and. Whichever country is closest to the sun, it's whichever the let me let me explain it to you like this. Okay. Pretend the sun is right there. This is Earth. This is America. Okay. If America were to be closer to the sun, this would be happening. But as we all know. The planet rotates. So now the planet closest to the sun is Saudi Arabia. <coughs> at this point, at this point, I really, I, I really have to, have to consider the contingency that she is acting it and she's pretending to be stupid. Okay, uh, I've ranted enough. Let me just continue watching. Um, 
<coughs> so maybe the <coughs> possibility that um, there's a difference in like gravity or something. So like 15 pounds is actually really light in England. It's just so confusing. I'm not good with planets, but um, yes, we know. I think that might be it. All right, bye everyone. Bye. If you are traveling 80 miles per <laughs> hour. <coughs> How long does it take you to go 80 miles? Okay, what do you think, Chell? Let's go through the process. What do you think? Well, I run the mile in about nine minutes. Wait, what about the tire turning thing you were talking about? Do you think that affects it? Well, I'm just guesstimating probably about, it turns about 400 times. <laughs> That's just ca calculate, like guessing calculations. Yeah, I don't know how you would work that out. It'd be tough. Yeah, so I don't know, because if I run a mile in like nine minutes, then I mean, but that's when I'm out of shape. When I'm really in shape, I'm like <laughs> seven minutes is when I'm like really in shape. A kindergartner would have figured out the answer to his question. If you're going 80 miles an hour, how long does it take you to get 80 miles? Achieve a distance that long. Everyone knows it's an hour! I'm sorry you had to hear that. I'm sorry I disrupted your eardrums. But, oh my gosh. At this point, I really feel like they're just acting. I'm sorry, but they have to be acting. Nobody is that dumb. <coughs> that takes me a mile. And we're going 80 miles. I'm running at about probably 10 miles per hour, if that. Yeah. And that's pretty fast for a human being, I think. But, I mean, it's got to take at least like 58 minutes or something. 58 minutes? It's pretty close. Go 80 miles. Yeah. Do you want to You're two minutes, minutes off. off. Think about. 80 miles per hour. So how long does it take me to go 80 miles if I'm traveling 80 You're miles driving fast. per you are, hour? You are driving faster than a minute a mile. Yeah, totally. So it, <laughs> I would whack 80 in half, and that's 40. A minute a mile. Because, I mean, you're probably going just, two minutes a mile. Just whack it in half. <laughs> Well, it depends on the, I mean, some cars' tires turn faster than others. Yeah, definitely affects I really, I really hope that those two weren't dating at the time, because he deserves a better girl than her. I'm sorry. I know that sounds mean, but... From my perspective, I, I really hope they're not dating. Because I, I, I would feel really bad for him. Because, I mean, I think a truck probably is slower because it weighs more. Mm -hmm. But I think it also matters. Does, Does anyone, anyone, has anyone, anyone heard of an engine? If your car's a stick or automatic. Okay, ciao. I know I stammer a little when I talk, but <coughs> <coughs> I at least know what I'm about to say. It's just that my mind gets confused and then I end up doing, and then this happens. <laughs> that happens a lot. Think about the term miles per hour. MPH. MPH. So if if I say I'm driving 80 miles per hour, that means I'm going to go 80 miles in an hour. No, you are not, because you are driving faster than a mile a minute. I can run one mile in seven minutes, <laughs> and that's a 10. Okay? So I mean, I got, that's booking it too. Okay, so if I'm going 60 miles per hour, This is Eddie. Eddie, a question. Yeah, what's my what's the question? What's heavier? A pound of rocks or a pound of feathers? Rocks. A pound of rocks or a pound of feathers? Rocks. Why? <laughs> but even they're they're both a they're both a pound. They're both a pound. So why would you say the rocks are heavier? Rocks. Rocks are stones. I know rocks are stones. And I know, 
Everyone knows that rocks are denser than feathers. But if you can have a one pound of rocks and one pound of feathers, then of course they're going to be always the same because they're both a pound. But it's a pound. And if I had a class, none of these people would pass. The feathers are also a pound. <laughs> yeah, well, it's still rocks. Rocks is heavier than the feathers. No matter how you put no, no it. No matter if it's a pound? Yeah, because uh, the feathers are light. Feathers. But it's a pound of feathers. It's a pound of okay. You know what? I feel like I have to discuss this. Okay. The English system. Pounds. Pounds are a unit of weight. In the metric system, you measure, you measure weight using newtons in terms of the force of gravity. A lot of people make the assumption that the unit of weight in the metric system is kilograms. It's a unit of mass, how much space it, it takes up. In space, holy shit. Oh, oh, oh. Red alert, red alert! Sorry about that. Sorry, I was in a space emergency. Okay, as I was saying, many people make the assumption that kilograms is a unit of weight. It's actually not. It's a unit of mass. Because if you go into space, <laughs> keep in mind, gravity doesn't work that well in space because of the distance from the surface of the planet and out there. You weigh less. If I were to go... From Earth to the planet Mars, I would weigh less. I'd weigh less, but I'd still be the same size. And that's because I, I'd be weighed less pounds, but I'd still be the same size. So there. So there you go. Some people. Hey guys, it's Steven, and today I'm making a video for you guys about why we don't need the sun. So recently. I really hope you're making a parody. I really hope you're making a parody, because if you're serious about this, I would just. Open the space-time continuum, travel to when you made this video, and I would slap the shit out of your stupid skull without a brain! I'm sorry you had to hear that. I'm sorry. Recently I've been doing a few Bing searches on this, and I found that, yeah, the sun is good because it gives us light, and we can go to work, and we can go to school, but it's also telling me that the sun is sending us these stupid HIV rays, or whatever, and it's- ULTRAVIOLET RAYS! UV! HIV is a virus, stupid! Burning our skin, and now that it's close to summer, it's getting even hotter than ever. And I really just don't understand the purpose of this stupid sun. PHOTOSYNTHESIS! VITAMIN D PRODUCTION IN YOUR SKIN! HELLO! ANYONE IN THERE?! I HOPE YOU'RE ACTING! I mean, when the sun leaves at nighttime and the moon comes out, we can still see, guys. I mean, it is it's reflecting the sunlight. It may be a little bit darker outside, but we have flashlights for a reason. We didn't have them before we invented them. We don't need this burning ball of fire up in our sky to see. I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing something, or maybe... Yes, you're missing something. I thought we were acting. I'm just misinterpreting something. I don't understand, guys. I mean, can't we just like push it away or blow it up or something? I don't. No, because it, you need a shit ton of force in order to move it somewhere away from the galaxy, and then, and even then, still the gravity would cause Earth to follow it, and then it would drift off. I don't know why we need the sun. How can anyone call that person? I know I said that I hope they're acting, and I really do hope they are, because... If they're not acting... 
I feel like that person may not be a human. Maybe, maybe they're just an android and they've been tricked into thinking they're human, but they're not. I'm sorry, but... Question, all right? Mm-hmm. Let's see how I get along with this. Question is, mum and dad have four daughters, yeah? And each daughter has one brother. How many people are in a family? And a mum and dad have four daughters. Four. Mum and dad have four daughters, yeah? We need... Along with this. All right, I'm going to ask you a question, all right? Mm-hmm. Let's see how I get along with this. Question is, mum and dad have four daughters, yeah? And each daughter has one brother. How many people are in a family? And a mum and dad have four daughters. Yeah. They've each got a brother. Yeah. How many in a family? Yeah. Eight. <laughs> four girls and they've each got a brother. Yeah. That equals eight. No. In a family. Seven. Mom and dad. Two parents. They have four daughters. But each one have one brother. That doesn't mean one for each girl, because then each girl would have four brothers. If each girl have one brother, that means there's only one boy. So two parents plus a total of five kids. That's seven. Family. Plus the mom and dad, ten. No. <laughs> yes, it is, Brad. The mom and dad have got four daughters, okay? So mom, dad, one, two, three, four, four daughters. Plus four brothers. One, two, three, four. Ten. No, Again. Yeah. Yes, it fucking is. No, it's not. Yes, how are you saying no, it's not? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Mum, dad, daughter, 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 daughter. Mum, dad, daughter, 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 daughter. Brother, 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 brother. Ten. No, yes, seven. It ten. Seven. Seven. What, are you including like nans, granddad, aunt, uncles? Because there could be hundreds. <laughs> no, just that question. Mum and dad have four daughters, and each daughter has one brother. How many are in the family? Are you including mum and dad? Yeah. Are you including auntie and uncle? No. Mum, dad, daughter, 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 brother, 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 brother. Fucking ten. <laughs> No, yes. yes, it Seven. is. Right, I'll break it down to you. Mum and dad have four daughters, yeah? Yeah. And each daughter has one brother. How many are in the family? I just fucking told you. Mum, dad, daughter, 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 brother, 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 brother. They've all got one brother, so it's ten. <laughs> they are one brother, which means one boy out of a fa- family with four kids. Four girls, one boy. That way they each have one brother. If there were four boys, like you think, each one would have four brothers. Four for that one, four for that one, four for that one, four for that one. But each one has one brother. So one, 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 one. Four, four girls, one boy. And the two parents, seven. Yes. They've all got one brother, Brad! Exactly! Oh, Dad, daughter, exactly. Daughter. You're tired of hearing this, I know. But I really hope that these people are acting. Daughter, daughter, brother, 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 brother. Fucking... Ten. No. How are they not? They've got, all the girls have got one brother. Yeah, exactly. And they've all got one, two, three, four. That, Bradley, is four girls, yeah? yeah. So they've all got one brother, <laughs> yeah. plus four boys is eight. Plus mum and dad, fucking ten. <laughs> Say what you just said again, they've all got one brother. Yeah. Yeah? Yes, I've just explained it. But what, you explained it the wrong yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, it's loads, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're not listening to me. You're not boy. listening to me. You're not listening to me. Stupid, yeah, stupid people. Right, so let me break stupid down. Stupid people. Stupid people. Stupid people. Stupid people. Stupid people. Stupid people. Stupid people exist in the world. You don't need to explain to me because you just said to me four, all the four girls have got one brother. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so, like me. I've got a fucking three sisters, so that makes four girls.
child and we've all got one brother and there's four boys. So yeah, I am fucking right. right. <laughs> 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 there's four oh, yeah, boys and fucking again. three sisters. So that makes me, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so, like me, I've got fucking three sisters. So that makes four girls. And we've all got one brother and there's four boys. So yeah, I am fucking <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me break it down. Look, mum and dad have four daughters. Yeah. Oh, if you had, if your mum, yeah. if your mum and dad had four daughters, <laughs> and they, and they had a brother, how many brothers have they have? We've got four brothers. How many brothers have they have? If you had four daughters and they had one brother, how many brothers have they have? They have four brothers because there's one date. Okay. I have, I have enough, enough of that girl, girl but there's just something about stupid people that I can't. That I kind of like, I know. I know I got kind of mad at the other dude, but there's something about stupid people that I, I kind of like. It's this, it's like they're, they're comedians and they want to make us laugh by acting like idiots. I like stupid people. Even, Even though, though I hate them. them. They're all brother and sister, you twat, so it'd be one, wouldn't it? So it'd be seven. No, you said four girls. Yeah, they've all got one brother. Yeah, they're all family, so they've still got one, haven't they? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a family reunion. Yeah, it's a family reunion. I'm glad she did. Do I have time, time for another, another one? one? I probably don't. Oh, well. This was Try Not To Cringe, and I lost a whole lot. What was I watching? I was watching stupid people. So, uh, okay. So, that was my Try Not To Cringe. I uh, hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed watching me yell at people's stupidity. <laughs> Remember, there's, there's always time for science. Even if you don't have any time for education. <laughs> <laughs>